Yeah. So we, we will go to the next session. We have Professor Jaika Thomas from India, who has been a past president of the International Society of Teledermatology. He will be talking on rise of teledermatology society in India. I am sure all of you must be very tired. Eh? Last talk of the day. I have to tell uh, you that I am thankful to the president of the International Society, Professor Manda Oakley, for giving me this opportunity every time there is a meeting or there is a publication, sh she gives me a good opportunity to do so. Apart from that, I have no other conflicts of interest. And whatever I'll be showing, you'll find many faces are familiar. Now, the Indian Society of Teledermatology was established in the year 2007. The society was started by a small group of 12 dermatologists, just 12 of us, joined together. It was the month of February when we started it. And uh, some of the founder members of the Indian Society are here with me. This unique society was started with a lot of passion, a lot of insight and dedication. And now it has multiplied many fold. In the year 2007, India was projected as the cradle of e-health in Asia. That certainly gave us the age to form the Indian Society of Teledermatology and enhance skin health globally. It did help us in three ways. From the patient point of view, it was almost a home delivery of health care, which you're not getting before that. To the referring doctor, it is empowerment of his service. And to the organization, it is efficiency improvement. No sooner than it was created in the year 2007, I was in Vienna for the EADV, and Professor Sawyer was there. And he really was very, very kind. And gave us the mandate. Uh, they had a General Assembly meeting there and gave us the mandate to conduct the World Congress of Teledermatology in the year 2008. That's how it all started off. As I told you, you'll see many faces who are familiar to most of you in this hall and who are physically present in this hall. So that was the inauguration of Teledum 2008 at Chennai, my native place. Uh, we conducted it. You can see Professor Oakley right in the center there. She was taking an active participation in this Teledum 2008. And that's how the rise of teledermatology in India did come up. We had a number of programs, and uh, again, Professor Peter Sawyer and Professor Oakley were along with me chairing some of the sessions. <clears throat> and then, in the year 2012, I was elected as the president of the International Society of Teledermatology that was at the Fourth World Congress at Tbilisi, Georgia. And then we went on to develop the society, started writing chapters of teledermatology in India. It found a place in the Indian Associated Dermatologist textbook, in the Association of Cutaneous Surgeons of India. Wrote articles in the Indian Dermatology Online Journal, in 2013. There was a big article on the scope of teledermatology in India, and there was no looking back. There was no looking back at all. That was the Fifth World Congress at Barcelona, where Paulo was conducting the Congress, and we did participate in a big way. The annual conference of Indian Society of Dermatology, which we call as Telederm India, is often partnered by the Indian Association of Dermatologists, Manual Leprologists, the Chennai City chapter. And the most recent activity has been 
the interview with Professor Madha Okle, the current president of the International Society of Teledermatology. There was a podcast and then we made use of teledermatology for, as I told you, treatment to the doorstep of the patients where we could manage them just electronically and then participate in a big way in continuing medical education in many of the journals and atlases also. This, of course, is the website of the Indian Society of Teledermatology where we have different subheadings and if you have the time you could please go into it. And this was the Telederm World Congress that we conducted. And in 2010 we had Telederm Beyond Borders. We had in our lectures we had communicative sessions, 100% interactive sessions with keypads, worldwide communication, national-wide exchange of ideas, all-to-all transmission, several other changes that we could possibly take care of. And of course, we found our place in the International Society of Teledermatology, in the map of the International Society of Teledermatology. Thus came the rise of teledermatology in India. And as I told you, we have our own web page. Telemedicine Society of India 2007, we participate in a big way. The previous, reader, previous speaker was talking about telemedicine. From there, we went on to get dermatology into it. As I told you earlier, we conducted the Second World Congress of Teledermatology and so many other participants, particularly at the international level, sister societies, sisters of the International League of Dermatology. That was great. No, we had to work hard to get into the ILDS. The Indian society into the ILDS and we are going to participate in the voting and things like that of the ILDS day after tomorrow itself. As I told you our recent interview with Professor Oakley. So I must confess my dear friends this is not the destination but the journey continues. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you.